dear students welcome to joint chemistry today we will learn about unit and their conversation now what is unit a standard reference chosen to measure a physical quantity is known as unit what is standard reference a basis value which is established to measure any quantity okay for example 1 meter this 1 meter is a basis value to measure a length so this is a reference standard reference now here two kind of units fundamental units and derived units these fundamental units are independent units and cannot derive from any other units for example units of mass length and time derived units these units can be derived from any other units units of volume pressure etc now there are two important system of units one is metric system and second is si system or international system of units the fundamental units of metric system are gram for mass meter for length and second for time this is also known as cgs centimeter gram system the fundamental units of si system are it has total seven base units physical quantity is first of them is length having symbol small l name of the unit meter with symbol small m then mass symbol small m with unit kilogram symbol kg time symbol small t unit second symbol small s then thermodynamic temperature symbol capital t with unit kelvin and the symbol capital k then electrical current symbol capital i unit ampere and the symbol capital a luminous intensity what is luminous intensity a intensity means a radi any radiative monochromatic ra light intensity is luminous intensity with the symbol iv unit candela and symbol is cd the amount of substance with the symbol small n unit is mole symbol mol okay now let's derive some units first of all is volume unit is meter cube which is a si unit volume is equal to area into height area means l square and height which is also length so l total is l cube so unit of the length is m so unit of the volume is m cube now area unit is meter square which is a si unit so area is equal to length into length sometimes it's breadth okay for square both are length are same so both can be considered as a length where in case of rectangular one is length another one is breadth or width okay so area is equal to length into length so l into l is equal to l square so unit is m square now it's density unit is kg per meter square meter cube sorry kg per meter cube which is the si unit density is equal to mass by volume so si unit of density si unit of mass divided by si unit of volume so mass has kg and volume is meter cube so unit is kg per meter cube now the velocity is equal to distance by time distance is a length so l and time is a small t so unit is meter per second so which is a si unit again now acceleration acceleration means the change of velocity with respect to time 
So unit is meter per second square, which is a SI unit. So acceleration is equal to velocity change with respect to time or velocity by time is equal to velocity unit is meter per second by time is equal to meter per second square. Okay. Now force unit is kg meter per second square, which is a SI unit also known as Newton force is equal to mass into acceleration mass unit is kg acceleration meter per second square so the total unit is kg meter per second square which is a newton symbol capital n okay capital n now pressure unit is kg meter per second square okay which is a si unit also known as pascal okay so pascal is kg per meter second square okay kg per meter second square now pressure is equal to force by area so force unit is kg meter per second square by area means meter square so is equal to kg meter inverse second to the power minus 2 which is pascal now power unit is watt which is also kg meter square second to the power minus 3 okay also known as joule per second so all are same what kg meter square second to the power minus 3 or joule per second all are same power is energy by time okay power means energy by time or sometimes work by time so energy unit has joule time means second so it is kg meter square second to the power minus 2 by second is equal to kg meter square second to the power minus 3 this is a si unit of power which is also what known as watt or joule per second now work unit is joule kg meter square second to the power minus 2 which is a si unit now work or energy is equal to force into distance traveled now force unit is kg meter second to the power minus 2 or known as Pascal and distance traveled it is nothing but m why m because distance travel is nothing but a l right? right distance travel is nothing but l so l has unit of m meter so the total unit is kg meter square second to the power minus 2 which is joule okay now electric charge unit is current into time or coulomb okay or known as ampere into second this is ampere second or coulomb both are the same which is si unit okay now there are some other units like electrical resistance the unit is ohm symbol is ohm like this okay so electrical conductance unit is ohm inverse or c man the symbol is s or ohm to the power minus one now this is frequency frequency unit has hertz or second inverse now in chemistry the another unit of length which is commonly used is angstrom which is symbol a to the power naught okay so it's one angstrom is equal to 10 to the power minus 10 meter is equal also it is 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter okay so this is very important relation we should remind it now in matrix system the derived units are like here the all units are SI units okay now the CGS units or the units in matrix systems for these derived units are volume a centimeter cube which is also known as liter okay area has centimeter square density has gram per centimeter cube velocity has centimeter per second acceleration has centimeter per second square force has sorry it's gram centimeter per second square which is also known as dyne pressure 
it's dyne per centimeter square which is also known as bare okay bare is the cgs unit of pressure or i can say units in metric system which is bare and power has the cgs unit of arc per second then work or energy unit is arg so these are all some units of different different quantity the units in metric system and units in si system okay now we will do some conversion of units at first conversion of length unit okay so we have to know the sequence from meter to femtometer now here is the sequence at first meter then decimeter then centimeter millimeter micrometer nanometer picometer and then femtometer okay and they are the symbols of these all units like decimeter means dm centimeter cm millimeter mm micrometer mu m this symbol is known as mu okay this is known as mu which is used for micrometer mu m nanometer has small nm picometer is cm femtometer is fm what is femtometer femtometer is the smallest length unit femtometer is the smallest length unit which is used for measure any atomic uh, nucleus dimension okay now there are some rela relations with meter decimeter is equal to one decimeter is equal to 10 to the power minus one meter one centimeter is equal to 10 to the power minus two meter one millimeter is equal to 10 to the power minus three meter then one micrometer is equal to 10 to the power minus six meter one nanometer is equal to 10 to the power minus nine meter one picometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 12 meter one centimeter is equal to 10 to the power minus 15 meter now you can see from decimeter to millimeter it is very easy like 10 to the power minus 1 10 to the power minus 2 and 10 to the power minus 3 it's okay but after this we have to remember these units because these are very important like these relations are very important like uh, we can see after millimeter to micrometer it is 10 to the power minus 3 to 10 to the power minus 6 so this is three unit difference right then again after micrometer to nanometer it is again 6 to 9 again it is three unit difference then nanometer to picometer three unit difference minus 9 then minus 12 then in case of femtometer see picometer has 10 to the power minus 12 then femtometer is 10 to the power minus 15 so we can remember this like this way that after millimeter micrometer nanometer picometer femtometer all have their relations with the meter with three units difference right with three unit difference 10 to the power minus 3 then 10 to the power minus 6 then 10 to the power minus 9 then 10 to the power minus 12 and then 10 to the power minus 15 okay so this is the way we can remember this these are very important relations now these are some conversion of the mass unit now this is gigaton megaton ton kilogram gram milligram microgram nanogram and then now one kilogram is equal to 10 to the power 3 gram so we can write this 10 to the power 6 gram is equal to 10 to the power 3 into 10 to the power 3 gram so this 10 to the power 3 gram is equal to 1 kilogram so it is equal to 10 to the power 3 kilo gram so this way we can establish the relation with megaton with kilogram so one megaton is equal to 10 to the power 9 kilogram and one gigaton is equal to 10 to the power 12 kilogram okay simple now the conversion of si unit to cgs unit the first is volume si unit is meter cube cgs unit is centimeter cube so one meter is equal to 100 centimeter so one meter cube is equal to 100 centimeter whole to the power cube is equal to 100 cube into centimeter cube 
so 100 cube is equal to 10 to the power 6 cube so so 1 meter cube is equal to 10 to the power 6 centimeter cube this centimeter cube is also known as liter there is another relation 1 centimeter cube is equal to 1000 decimeter cube now 1 centimeter is nothing centimeter cube is nothing but 1 liter is equal to 1000 decimeter cube this is very important and this is very useful relation in very uh, numericals okay now area which has SI unit meter square and CGS unit centimeter square 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so 1 meter square is equal to 100 to the power 2 centimeter square is equal to 10 to the power 4 centimeter square okay so 1 meter square is equal to 10 to the power 4 centimeter square now density has SI unit kg per meter cube and CGS unit gram per centimeter cube 1 kg per meter cube is equal to kg is 1000 gram and meter cube is 100 to the power cube centimeter cube so it is 1000 by 10 to the power 6 gram per centimeter cube so 1 kg per meter cube is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 gram per centimeter cube now velocity SI unit meter per second and CGS unit is centimeter per second so 1 meter per second is equal to 100 centimeter per second simple now acceleration meter per second square and CGS unit is centimeter per second square so 1 meter per second square is equal to 100 centimeter per second square again simple now force force has SI unit kg meter per second square which is Newton and CGS unit is gram centimeter per second square which is dyne so 1 kg meter per second square is equal to 1000 gram into 100 centimeter by second square is equal to as you can see 3 and 2 total 5 so 10 to the power 5 gram centimeter per second square which is kg meter per second square is known as Newton so 1 Newton is equal to 10 to the power 5 dyne this is a relation is an important relation now pressure has this a unit kg meter per meter kg per meter second square which is Pascal CGS unit is gram per centimeter second square which is Barry now 1 kg per meter second square is equal to 1000 gram divided by 100 centimeter second square is equal to 100 gram per centimeter second square so 1 Pascal is equal to 10 Barry this is another important 1 Pascal is equal to 10 Barry again 1 Pascal is nothing but 1 Newton per meter square or Newton meter to the power minus 2. Okay, this is important. Now, power SI unit is joule per second, CGS unit is R per second. So, 1 joule per second is equal to so 1 joule per second is equal to 1 kg meter square per second square divided by second. Is equal to 1000 gram 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram meter square is equal to 100 square centimeter square per second square divided by second is equal to 10 to the power cube into 10 to the power 4 gram centimeter square per second square divided by second this gram centimeter square per second square is equal to R okay so in total it is 10 to the power 7 so 1 joule per second is 10 to the power 7 R per second okay 10 to the 7 r per second important then it is work now work or energy unit si unit is joule and cgs is r okay now we know one joule is equal to one kg meter square per second square is equal to kg one kg is equal to thousand gram and one meter square is equal to 100 to the power two centimeter square divided by second square okay so we get 1 joule is equal to 10 to the 7 r simple now here are some other units of pressure and their conversion it is important there are uh, there are 1 atm which is equal to 101325 pascals is equal to 760 torque okay 
and this one atm is also equals to 760 mm hg and six, 7 to 6 centimeter hg okay so these are um, some other units of pressure and the conversion and there are another one is one bar is equal to 10 to the power 5 pascal okay now the universal gas constant values and their conversion so there are some values in different different units say the in liter atm per mole kelvin unit the value is 0 0.081 and then 8.3145 joule per mole kelvin this is another unit and as you all know that one joule is equal to 10 to we all know one joule is equal to 10 to the plus 7 r so we can convert it joule to r by multiply with 10 to the plus 7 okay there is another unit calorie per kelvin mole and the value is 1.827 okay sometimes it is also written as near equals to 2 now this calorie is a unit of energy okay so there is a, a so 1 kilocalorie is equal to 4184 joule or we can say 1 calorie is equal to 4.184 joules okay. i hope this will be helpful for you so see you in next video please like share and subscribe thank you